we launch the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. Happy Turkey Day. <laughs> in honor of 30 Thursday, we're getting your day started off right with this 100 proof double shot update from one of your favorites, Rafa Brandeo, who went on the record earlier this week to announce his plans for next season. According to Rafa, the first time on his 2022 campaign will be the Arnold South America, which is set to go down in his home country of Brazil in April. And assuming everything goes well, from there his next move will be to focus all his attention on prepping for his Olympia debut later in the year. The new and improved Rafa 3.0 was a force to be reckoned with in the two times we saw him compete this season. So if he brings even a slightly upgraded version of that, to the Arnold South America next year, he might walk out of that building in one hell of a homecoming. <laughs> Speaking of new and improved, Quinton Aria earned his fair share of accolades for what he did in his top five finish at the Romania Pro a few weeks ago. But luckily for you, you won't have to wait until April to see him do it again, because it looks like he's planning to hit the Toronto Pro in two weeks. Pound for pound, Quinton probably has one of the craziest structures in open bodybuilding. And the new muscle he put on during the offseason was a big part of the reason why he managed to crack the top five in Romania. So if he can tighten things up a little bit more in the conditioning department, he should have a good shot at bumping into the top three in Toronto. <laughs> Depending on what time of day you're watching this video, you might be staring at the screen in a sugar-induced coma, trying to figure out if you're hallucinating or if you're really seeing a live video from Cedric McMillan on your screen. And believe it or not, your eyes are not deceiving you. Last weekend, Cedric did step on stage as the featured guest poser at the NPC Armed Forces Nationals, where I'm told that he put on one hell of a show for everyone in the building. Even though it's been somewhat of a roller coaster ride for Cedric over the last few months in terms of his competitive plans, it does look like he's getting closer and closer to being healthy again, which is a good sign for everyone who wants to see him on the Arnold Classic stage again next year. When he's at his best, he's one of the most captivating athletes in bodybuilding. And there are a lot of people out there who'd love to see how a 100% Cedric McMillan stacks up against some of the other superstars in the industry. <laughs> and finally, before we sign off today, we want to send a big get well soon shout out to Felipe Franco. A few days ago, the former men's physique Olympian had to be hospitalized after suffering severe abdominal pain and after a handful of scans and blood work Doctors determined that he was actually a case of appendicitis. Thankfully, they were able to quickly get him into surgery, and the surgery was a success. And now he's on the road to recovery. But given everything that's gone on in our industry lately, hopefully this will be another reminder to everyone out there to get their blood work done and stay on top of their health. Because you don't want to wait until it's too late. Once the ride is over, it's over. There's no second go around. So it's best to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make it last. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.